Hello everyone, Trix here, and welcome to Yoshi's Island Part 9. This is the first time in a while that we're going to start a world in the start of a video. Go Go Mario is the first one we get. We have Koopas again, yeah hooray, I like Koopas. And he's already gone. But other than that, this level also introduces another staple Mario enemy. That has been absent so far in this game, Goombas. And Goombas come back in all their flattiness. What do I mean by flattiness? Well, if you stand on a Goomba, they don't die. They just become flat. Just like the way they die in a Mario game. Flat as a pancake when you step on top of them. In this game, it doesn't kill them. Damn you. Bye bye. All right. This is actually a place where you can farm for life. This pipe over here. Oh, I don't have to show because apparently I'm already not full on eggs. But this pipe spawns shy guys infinitely because it's an egg spawning pipe. If you're not full on eggs, and you can use a Koopa shell to bounce between those two pipes. And as you make sure you are not on full X, the shy guys will keep going coming out of that pipe. I'm playing very poorly today so far. Hopefully that's not going to be something that continues on. Hopefully this is just me having to get used to this again. Because I'm going to be honest, it's been a while since I've played. I do not have that much time to record these things. Right, something I mentioned in World 2, back in World 2, that some of these foreground things, these apply to, because as you can see, Joji can disappear behind them, tend to hide things. If you can look closely, because these things are a little more transparent than the bushes were that these things first appeared in, there are actually shy guys hiding behind them, trying to hurt you, trying to get Baby Mario off you. Very sneaky. So you need to be careful here. This cave is required if you're going for 100% because as you can see there were a couple of red coins in here. I had star flower here. Might as well use it. I'm not full anyway. Right, bullet bills. Don't forget this red coin. I've forgotten that a lot in the past. Right. No. Right, one funny funny thing you can do is wait for these bill blasters to shoot their bullet bill. And once they do, freeze them so they get stuck in this uh, fat position. <laughs> Always funny. Just like that. It's little trinkets like that that make these games so funny to play. Right, there's red coins on the bottom here. Of course there are. Cramped in between paratroopers and bill blasters. Therefore hard to get. And of course there are going to be red coins because of that. Right, another mechanic coming back we haven't seen in a while. Ever since World 1. One of the most famous things from this game, the whole reason this game is as famous as it is, because of it promoting being drunk. I know this game calls it being dizzy, but be honest here, this is just being drunk. The fuzzies are back. Stay away from the fuzzies. Fuzzies are not good for you, man. Yeah, you're not getting away from me. I'm going to try not to touch them. I'm a big opponent of being drunk. And I'm going to show that by not becoming drunk at all. Not that easy to avoid them because they tend to go on a very weird pattern as you can see. Sometimes they uh, spawn in a little awkward position. 
never too much of a problem. This is going to be the same message again, yeah. We've already seen that message. Right, shoot out the sand block so the star can come out. And let's be some Super Mario for a while. Although this is a Yoshi game, there's still a Super Mario in it. Even Mario gets his time to shine. Let's try to float up here to get these red coins. That's it. Level done. We start off easy. This level rarely gives me any troubles. And it's not that long either. And there's no really uh, good hidden things. So even 100%. Oh, not this one again. I don't like this one. It takes way too long. I always just go for the stars and even that I fail. Going for the stars and nothing more. I know I can beat this, but I don't want to. I don't need the lives. I have way too many of those already. And I don't need the items. Also, because I've already got way too many of those as well. But that's just me. I know there's a lot of players in this game who uh, like to abuse the items. Go ahead if you want to. This is the way to get them. I'm not just the kind of guy who uses them. Only the stars I tend to use in some cases. The Cave of the Lactus. Because it does happen sometimes when I'm not in the position to use my axe to get some stars when I'm at the end of the level. And I've already used some of all of the clouds or the middle rings. Or they're simply not available anymore. Then I can use the stars. I'm not ashamed to, to use them. The game gives them as a valid use. So I don't consider that cheating. If you want to do it the true correct way. Go play Yoshi's Island DS or Yoshi's New Island uh, sequels to this game. Because there are no longer items in that game. And therefore also no stars you can misuse. At the end of the level if you're running short. Right, that POW block, as you can see, we've seen one before. Even though it was in a question mark block at the time. But POW works as a screen nuke in this game. Kills everything on screen. Turning, in, turning them into stars. Also an item we haven't seen yet. Okay, flower over here. Don't just throw the crate for the stars. There's also a flower there. I don't even believe I have one of those. Let me see, how many items do I have? No, I don't have that item. There's also a cloud item and a POW item. We've seen it come by in the mini games, Which you can use to create that POW effect as well. If you use the POW item... It, well, it obviously goes like that directly. There's a POW block up here as well, by the way. You can use it directly. Using the item will create that POW effect. Wherever you are standing. And if you use the cloud item. It will turn every enemy on screen at that point into a cloud. And the clouds can contain anything. A coin, stars, but also a power effect. So there are multiple ways of getting that. As Yoshi falls after hovering, press A again to hover some more. Use this technique and the magnifying glass to get all five red coins here. Yeah, the magnifying glass is what I mentioned earlier. If you use that, all the red coins that are disguised as the yellow cones normally will turn into regular red coins. So you can always see which ones are the red coins. I'm not going to use it. I don't think that's a very good item to use. I do know I tend to use uh, miss red coins a lot. It's happened to me multiple times in this playthrough as well. But usually the coins I miss... I would also miss if I can see if there were red coins, but us because usually there are just strings of coins that I just simply did not have on screen, therefore did not see them, and therefore missed them, so having that magnifying glass on wouldn't help me that much. Because I'm 
a completionist kind of guy, always going for all coins on screen if possible. Unless it's very obvious that the coins on screen are simply yellow coins. So the magnifying glass usually doesn't help me that, mu that much. But it is there if you really are struggling finding out where everything is in the game. You can use it to help yourself. But once again, it does not tell you where every red coin is. It just changes where the red coins are into the red coins. So it's not like there, if there's a hidden area, it'll show you, hey, hidden area here. There's three red coins down here. doesn't work like that. It's just visually... Oh. Don't have to shoot an egg here. Or do I? Come on. I know I can reach that. Yeah. I know I've done that before. You do not have to go very far for this minigame house. It's already here. Now which one is this? I believe it's another throwing balloons. No, it's watermelon spinning contest again. Alright, this one is not that hard. It's skill based, obviously. I usually don't even bother hiding from him that much because he's easily gotten more than he can get you even if you do not try that hard you even get a hit only once this time right watermelon as a price can be one of three like mentioned earlier this game always gives you a watermelon item right final part of this level some of these coins in these niches here are red coins so you need to get them all. There's also some Lakatus here throwing stuff at you. Usually just strafe from left to right, going through all of them. This is an easy way to make sure you get everything here. There's another one. What do you have? Stars, I believe. Yeah. Right, here we have a tricky jump. As you can see, there's a flower over here. You can only get it from this side, so you need to time your jump correctly and hover to this little niche for your second to last flower. Final one being over here. Same deal with the red coin. Time this correctly because you get only one chance. For both the red coin and the flower, got them on the same way. There we go. Give me my axe back. And we are done with 4-2. Get another bonus. If it's another matching game, I'm going to scream. No, I'm not going to scream. Don't worry. Or oh, wait. I am going to scream. I'm just going to cut it out of the video. Mute in the mic. I don't have to. It's not the uh, one I wanted. It's the one of the two we're still missing. Roulette. Get one-ups. Set the number of Yoshis with the D-pad. Press A to start and A to stop. The combination of the two wheels and the number of Yoshis wins you one-ups. You cannot play this game if you have only one Yoshi remaining. Yes, this game works like this. You can gamble as many lives as you want. Not that I'm going to do that. I'm going for a safe three. Because you can lose them all. As you can see, there's multiplications in here. And getting a times zero, if you know your math, every number times zero, x times zero, always equals zero. So yes, this is actually a game where you can lose lives. I know I have a crap load of lives, so, but I'd like to keep it that way. <laughs> Don't look back, it's the next level. What do we have here? What do you have to say? When you jump off one of these platforms, the number shown is reduced by 1. If the number reaches 0, the platform vanishes. Yes, this is the first introduction of the vanishing platforms. This one is to test it out. As you can see, it has a 1. Stand on top of it. Jumping off of it, and it's gone. They come in multiple forms. There's also ones with a 2, a 3, or a 4. doesn't go higher than that. We'll see examples of that later, so I'm not going to 
explain it now. It's quite obvious how it works. Right? First get these coins. But most notably the flower. I don't believe any of these are red coins. Red coins are on top of this part. Let's get up now. Right, red coin over here, carried by a fly guy. Th this one is easily missed. Because it doesn't always spawn correctly, I have find found out in the past. I'm not taking any chances here. Grabbing that single coin, just in case it's a red one. It was not. These ones are red. Alright, let's continue. We have some teetering platforms now. Standing too long of the on these will make them fall. Giving you only the pointy pole to stand on, which obviously hurts you. So don't stand on these platforms too long, or make sure that you don't have to go back to them. Go into this little pipe here. What do we have here? A little helicopter section. Optional, of course. This is not a continuation of the level. You can grab some coins here. But most notably, there are red coins in between. And a middle ring. Which is technically not required, but might as well get it. Gives you stars and it gives you a checkpoint. Not gonna bother getting any more of these. We're done here. Right, let's see where we are now. Right, this is the first introduction of the two. As you can see, jumping off of them does not make the platform disappear. But it does if you do it a second time. Flower over here. Red coin over here, which is also easily missed because this one does like the first one. Doesn't always like to spawn correctly. Right, easy one up over here. Shoot this shell. To get the one up over here. Very tricky fly guy over there. That one is very easily missed. Because as you can see, you first need to get rid of the piranha plant. And then you still need to be in time to get it, because once again, once these guys disappear, you do not see them again unless you restart the level. Flower over here. Right, you can get some quick stars over here. Does not fill me up. That does not matter, there's still a middle ring coming up. On. Hit that guy. Right, jumping off the enemy for the flower. One more flower, five more red coins. I believe that is indeed where we want to be. Right, the level continues this way. You can go here for some one-ups. I'm not going to bother, it's just more of this and eventually you end up finding some balloons with 1-ups and the end of the level. But the stuff we want is actually up here. Yes, this level has two exits. It does not work as a secret exit, this is the same exit, even though it is technically a different exit because we do not go to the same, we do not end on the same place, this is actually a different exit. This is the one we're going to want to do, because the flower and the final five red coins are here. Here's the flower. You can shoot an egg at it if you miss it. But you do want to stay on top of this balloon. It gets smaller and smaller the farther we get. But you can't reach the exit if you're down there. Because as you can see this is far too high to jump. It's not a death pit underneath here, by the way. You just fall back to the regular level if you uh, miss it. But you can't normally jump up back there, so you need to stay on top of the balloon in order to reach this platform and the final five red coins. I'm not sure if you can shoot an egg from down there because it is pretty far down, so I don't, I'm not really sure if the coins are rendered in. If you shoot an egg from down there, because they're not completely above the platform, as you can see. 
so it might be possible to hit them, but I've never tried, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. If that's the case, you technically don't need to go to this exit, just grab the red coins from there, stay down there and go to the normal exit, where the normal level exit takes you, and still get the 100 points. It might be possible, but I don't know. Right, another f first try. And it's already three levels, we're at 20 and a half minutes, so good thing. Good point to end it here. Next time, 44246. Might be a little longer video, because especially 44 is a really long level. But I don't care, I'm going to do three levels per video, no matter what. Might change it up for the final level, where I do the... Do four levels in a video, just to make the final video a little bit more tolerable, because the last level, the more I think of it's really going to take a while. So I might try to fit one fourth level in some other video to ma make sure that I can do the final level with only one other level, so that becomes a little more tolerable. That's going to be it for today. Tomorrow I will be back with more World 4. Tricks out.